Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are doing absolutely well. Guys, in this video, I will be explaining the recent updates about TCS IP examination, which is also called as TCS Initial Procured Assessment. I will also be discussing about the status of early joining and whether the joining bonus still exists or not in TCS. If you are from 2025 batch or waiting for your onboarding, watch this video till end to clear all your doubts. So before we start the video, if you are new to my channel, make sure to subscribe to the channel as I regularly post these kinds of helpful updates as well as off-campus drives opportunities on my channel. So without wasting any time, let's see what we have or what we are going to discuss in today's video. So guys, we are going to see first of all, IP examination date and format. Then we are going to see the cities and survey detail, okay, the cities in which you can take that examination. Then we are going to see exam pattern and topics so that you can prepare well for it. Then we are going to talk about no bonus or early joining in 2025. Then TCS insider info. Should you also take TCS uh, IP examination or not? And then finally, I will be sharing some tips and resources for you, which will be helpful. So let's start with the first thing, which is your IP examination overview. So guys understand that the TCS IPA, which is also called as initial proctor assessment, it will be held on 1st of August 2025 from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. This is the day, uh, time slot which has been received by the candidates and it's a compulsory test after you receive your interview results. Candidates must fill the preference survey for choosing their examination city. Okay, This is about the overview. Now talking about cities and survey form. So see, you will be getting a list of emails with centers like Agra, Ahmedabad, Allahabad, Amravati, etc. which will be mentioned in that survey. Okay. And then you have to choose your nearest city in the survey as your IPA will be conducted at that TCS IOM center. Okay. So make sure that you fill correct city properly in that survey uh, form which you have received. You will also be receiving access to IPA course materials before the examination. So keep an eye on your email for that. Now talking about the examination pattern. So see, uh, like you will be having MCQs which will for which you will be getting 50 minutes then you will be having coding question for which you will be having 70 minutes now topics that you need to know will be like kyl know your language ui unix then uh, javascript java programming in which only java will be allowed and no python allowed okay total marks will be 100 and there will not be any negative marking okay so i hope the exam pattern is now clear now talking about joining bonus part okay which is very important so guys, there will not be any joining bonus or early joining 2025 batch. What I mean by that is unlike previous batches, TCS has discontinued the joining bonus and early joining based on IPA performance. Previously it used to happen, but now it has been discontinued. This is confirmed by the employees currently working in TCS and internal sources. So I would not recommend you to expect any perks like 2023 batches had uh, for this batch because it, it is very real or it is almost no possibility that they are going to give uh, like you know joining bonuses this time okay next information which is TCS insider info that is many candidates got offer letters without even appearing for IPA okay this is one of the important points IPA is now more of a formality and preparation checkpoint not for not a deciding factor like previously as I told you we are not going to get any early joining or any kind of bonus uh, based on your IPA performance so IPA results won't revoke your offer even if you fail. This is kind of an information that we have uh, like you know understood based on the parameters you can say. But there is no official communication on anything based like either on joining or anything else officially from the TCS. So you should not consider anything as official but this is what is going to happen in the upcoming months. So now the question will arise in your mind that should you act really take IP also or not because you know of because of all this what I'm like telling you. So guys my suggestion would be yes absolutely you should take your IPA assessments don't ignore it. Why so? Because IP gives you exposure to real exam scenarios. It prepares you for the future of campus drives and technical interviews and you will get hands on experience with Java oops and coding logic and you never know where it can come handy. So why you know taking a chance and ignoring it. And it can even like you know boost your chance of offer letters in any case as um, as i already told you it is very unlikely this time but uh, since if you are not very busy or something i would highly recommend you and if you are like planning to join tcs with on this offer so you should definitely take it okay and don't ignore it now some final tips for the students first step as i already said 
don't skip ipa it um, it will help to build your confidence don't expect joining bonuses it is kind of discontinued from discontinued from now onwards use ip to assess your real skills fill out the survey form correctly by filling in your you know uh, location preference for the examination keep track of emails from tcs explore team it will be very helpful for you you will get all the updates from that only and guys also keep checking your spam or junk folders uh, at regular intervals because sometimes you know the emails can even go in those folders so guys, I have tried to cover almost everything that was there as a part of this update. If you have any more doubts, please let me know in the comment section. We have a lot of audience who are in the same situation like yours. They will also be answering your questions and I will also try to answer your comments. You can even join me on my Telegram channel and you can even follow me on Instagram. Make sure to subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss on any of the important updates going forward from my channel. So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching the video and I will see you next time.